Hey there guys, Zach here from WinBeta and welcome to Windows Phone 8.1. Yes, I'm not lying to you, this is Windows Phone 8.1 in emulator form, which means it's not finished and is probably very buggy, so this does not represent the final product. If we go to uh, the about bit here, we can actually show that it is Windows Phone 8.1. I'm not going to press more info because I have a feeling that might reveal sensitive information. So yeah, this hasn't leaked publicly yet, uh, as of recording this anyway, so um, I'm actually quite lucky to have this build. So thanks to the dude that was able to provide this to me. Um, I'm just going to walk through a, a few of the new changes, because there is a lot of changes, and most of these changes are behind the scenes, which means I can't actually show, show them anyway. Getting started, if we open a few apps, so I can actually show you this. Open it in Explorer, so just press on recommend. Also, it might be a tiny bit laggy simply because this is an emulator and things are great when it's emulating. So, if we close them out and go into a bunch of different things, we go in there and press the back button, you can now swipe down on multi on apps so to close them, which is very handy and much easier than um than the way it is currently, which just requires you to tap on the X. The X is still there, as you may have seen. I'm just going to open a couple more apps again because I want to try something. If we go up here to, um, where are we? If we do that, we can actually add multiple apps. So actually, if you come over here, uh, multiple apps, multiple fingers. So if we go here, I want to have, a, I want to test and see if we can. Actually, I should probably turn it off before we do that. So if we come here and turn this on, I just want to see if we can. No, that's not what I wanted. <laughs> See if we can pull down at once. So yeah, it doesn't actually seem you can pull down two apps at once. It would have been nice if you could, but apparently not. Uh, there's a bunch of things missing in this build, which I probably should clear up now. There's no notification center, no Cortana, no swipe keyboard, and there's no ability to uh, select multiple tiles when customizing. So uh, they're rumored to be making an appearance in later builds. In the settings app, there's a bunch of new changes. There's now uh, a new setting here called Project My Screen, which allows you to uh, project your Windows phone to a TV monitor or projector. Uh, can't actually show you that because it's an emulator. Uh, there's an advertising ID thing here. No idea what this does, but I have a feeling it has something to do with advertising because I'm great at analysing stuff like that. USB settings, which allow you to uh, alter a, different, a bunch of different USB settings. So uh, ask me before using USB data connection and notify me when I connect to a slower charger. That's a ton of things that you can change. So with the uh, navigation bar on at the bottom, if we go to settings, there is a new option down here called navigation bar, which allows you to customize it. So you can have the nav bar to always show or hide, because uh, as some apps in Windows Phone 8.1, have the ability to uh, hide a bunch of UI elements and the uh, navigation bar is one of them. You can have it to match the background or match the accent colour. So um, you can swipe to hide the navbar, you can also tap on that, but uh, bringing it back is a, it's simply tap, uh, turning that on and off or going in or locking the phone and unlocking the phone. So if we actually lock the phone, let's have a look at that, let's see that's per normal. So yeah, this that's a pretty cool thing uh, in Windows Phone 8.1. Um, now, is there anything else new? Of course there is, there's loads of stuff new. There is a new uh, sound sound thing, Ringer UI, as you can see up here. There is Ringer notifications, you can now um, independently adjust those, so if you want your Ringer and notification to be on zero and your music and apps to be on the top, you can. You can also turn this up as well. You can pretty much do anything from this, come on. If you do that up, there you go, and you can also turn silent mode on and off, and you can also jump to sound settings real quick. Uh, we can actually test this right here, so if we play this pure room tone, uh, we can turn that down, and you can't hear it, and you turn it up, and you can hear it. Pretty sweet. Pretty sweet. Um, Bing search does not work in this build, which means, well I have a feeling that means that it's because of Cortana, since Cortana is not included in this build. Uh, I am unable to tap on the search button, which means I am unable to search for things. Um, these a bunch of these apps here are uh, installed by default, so all the Bing apps, including Bing Health and Fitness and Bing Food and Drink, none of these apps actually work, so um, <laughs> can't show you them, except Bing News. Bing News does work, and as you can see there, opening an app, it gives you a splash screen, which is much, uh, which is very similar to that on Windows 8.1 on the computers and PCs and laptops and tablets. Um, this is new as well, so you, Windows 8. Point, Windows Phone 8.1 will 
sync your apps across multiple devices. As you can see here, it, you can the Bing News app, you can sync your settings from your tablet to your phone, which is great. However, I can't show you it because I cannot sign into a Microsoft account with an emulator. Calendar has been updated as well with a new UI, I believe. You can see here, just have a quick glance at that. I'm not actually going to stay too long in here because I rarely use the calendar app anyway. Uh, as you can see here, there is a new battery power sense thing. I'm not entirely sure if this will stay on the start screen uh, on the apps list. I highly doubt it. But yeah, it allows you to show the um, usage of apps and settings. And you can also turn battery saver on and off, much like you can in the current builds of Windows Phone 8. If we go to Internet Explorer, there's a change here as well. If we go to winbeta.org, as I actually explain this, there is a change to um, the HTML player or the Flash player with uh, Internet Explorer. So uh, if you may recall, playing a video on YouTube.com in the Internet Explorer app will play in a full screen sort of thing that you can't really navigate through and it's quite annoying. But if we uh, play a video now, if we I can't bloody spell my name. I just let's do that. I'm sure, video of mine will come up. Damn it! <laughs> Typing on here is a pain, especially when using a keyboard. So let's just play that video. If we tap on play here, you may notice. Hey there, guys. Zach here from Beta, and welcome back to another Windows 8.1. It plays in um without going full screen, which means. You can navigate through, and of course you can still go full screen, however I'm not going to, well actually I did, but yeah, so that's a lovely change to um, Internet Explorer. Another thing, I don't know if, that's a, if this is a bug or a feature, but the tabs button here is gone, which means I have no idea how to actually um, open tabs. If we go to WinBeta real quick, and hold down on a link, open a new tab, there we go, so unless this is how it's worked, oh, okay, so in Windows Phone 8.1, tabs work independently in their own switcher now so uh, that's an interesting change not entirely sure if I like that but oh well I guess if that's what they're doing that's what they're doing this is still the same really not really changed the camera app has also changed if we go into camera uh, the UI is different as you can see here we can take a bunch of pictures we can take multiple pictures it'll take as many as you want as long as you keep holding it and you can also take video up here you can uh, change the um, front facing back facing the flash and the lenses now uh, I'm not going to be able to show you everything new in Windows Phone 8.1 simply because this build doesn't include everything new and as I think I said at the beginning already that most of the changes are behind the scenes anyway uh, I'm going to just quickly jump through this because I just realised that this is here. Uh, there's the Bing, the Bing, the Xbox Games app has been slightly updated. Can't sign into it though, as for reasons that um, are obvious. But it does actually look a bit different and looks cleaner as well, so that's always a good thing. If we go to About, you can see the version number. If we go into Settings, we can have a look at the Accounts options. And if you have a look here, I believe. Facebook has been removed, which is interesting. Twitter's still there, and you've got iCloud, Google, Yahoo Mail, Exchange, and Microsoft account. You've got LinkedIn as well, but Facebook is gone. No idea why. That might be. That might make a return. Might not. I'm hearing that Facebook is its own particular app now on Windows Phone. It's you cannot bake it into the People Hub. People Hub. People Hub. It's apparently Microsoft are working on an entirely different Facebook thing. Uh, don't quote me on that. Um, but yeah, that's what I've heard. Storage Sense is similar to storage to the storage settings to, on today's Windows phones, uh, but as you can see down here, you can store new apps on either the phone or if I had an SD card installed, an SD card, which is fantastic because uh, for phones, for Windows phones, we have a small amount of space, such as the Nokia Lumia 520, which has eight gigabytes, I believe. Uh, you are very limited for app space and now with Windows Phone 8.1 you can install apps onto the SD card so you can have a 64 gigabyte SD card in an 8 gigabyte phone and have a million billion apps and it will be fantastic for everybody. Um, Windows Phone 8.1 also has the ability to auto update apps much like on Windows 8.1 on the computers. There's uh, improved backup functionality but I can't actually show you that sadly. Uh, if I a quick swipe from the top mm, no it's not working 
Zaka said that the notification stuff is not available in this build, sadly. Um, anything else new? The next lots of music and video are baked in. Uh, or it's their standalone apps anyway, but are, are included with the operating system, which is nice. Um, so yeah, that seems to be everything I can show you uh, with the emulator anyway. Everything else, like I said, is behind the scenes. I'm not entirely sure if I'm showing you this. I might have to cut this out if I have already shown you it. I've completely forgotten. But uh, OneDrive is here. It's just the SkyDrive app, but renamed to OneDrive. Um, I need to sign into it. But it now has the ability to... Well, it has an integrated file browser, which means, much like on Windows 8.1, you can search your local hard drive. I uh, can't actually show you that since I'm not signed in. But yeah, apparently that's there in OneDrive, which is very nice. We pin that to start. As you see, they're all lovely sitting there. OneDrive, make it smaller or larger. Pretty great. Actually, the Photos app has also changed a bit as well. Um, it jumps straight into the uh, photos, so you can just go straight into all photos. You go to your albums, and you can check out OneDrive from there as well, and you can also see favourites, which is pretty nice. Um, so yeah, I believe that's about it for uh, for the video anyway. There's still there's a there's so many so many things available or oh, coming in Windows Phone 8.1, including a file picker which I cannot actually find, which is annoying. Which region? Actually, saying that, I think there's one more thing. If we lock the phone and unlock the phone, this UI, this lock screen, the UI seems to have changed. Not entirely sure if that's a thing that's going to be make that's going to make its an appearance in the final version. It might just be an emulator thing, but yeah, the UI has changed here, which and it actually looks quite nice. So yeah, now I'm going to end the video here guys, it's already dragged on quite a bit. Uh, you can check out winbetter.org for a bunch of news regarding Windows Phone 8.1, uh, including behind the scenes changes and a whole load of things about Cortana and the notification centre. So yeah, thanks so much for watching guys and I shall see you in the next one. Bye bye.